Hi everyone, Mr. E here with another SimLab tutorial and in this one we're learning how to use the pivot connectors to create something like this in Tinkercad SimLab. Now the connectors are a relatively new addition to SimLab and if you watch some of my earlier SimLab tutorials you'll see what it was like to try to create real world consistent motion without them. I talk about the other connectors in my other tutorial videos, so if you want to learn about the axle connectors and making motors or linear motion, you could check those out. But again, in this one, we're learning about the pivot connector. So I have a little upside down cone shape here, and in the real world, I can imagine that this cone shape would sort of move and pivot around the tip here. So I'm going to go ahead and bring the pivot connector out, and using the align tool, I can align it and center it with my cone shape. I'm gonna attach the body of the cone shape to my cone and the other part of the pivot to nothing. That's the blue handle for this one. Now, if we go ahead and run the simulation and throw something at the cone, you'll see that it pivots around the connector point. So the pivot allows us to get a variety of motion. It's not just circular motion like what we get with the axle, but it's sort of this multi-axis pivot or teetering motion that we can see here with our pivot connector. Let's enhance our design a little bit. So I'm going to go back to the design and we can actually delete this. I'm thinking of creating sort of like a linked chain. So I'm going to take a torus here real quick and cut it in half and use this to create a nice oval like chain by adding some cylinders. All right, something like this a nice chain shape, if we will. So let me rotate this up and maybe just scale it down a little bit and raise it like so. What I'm gonna do is simply duplicate this chain and bring my copy down a little bit and rotate it so I have a nice little interlocking chain link. Maybe we can bring it down just a little bit more, but of course gravity will allow this to drop. So if we head back over to SimLab, we're gonna make this first chain link static. That will prevent it from moving and it'll keep it in the air like so. And then we're gonna add a pivot connector. Now I'm gonna align this pivot connector to the second chain. And if I hold shift, I can use the align tool like we did earlier, but I'm gonna click on the chain. What that allows me to do is align the connector to the chain without the chain actually moving and I'm gonna raise this connector up to where the pivot is taking place. One of the handles is gonna to go to the chain, and the other handle is gonna to go to the static chain. So the one is on the chain link that moves, the other one is on our static chain link. Let's start the simulation and give our chain a little push, and you'll see that we get like a nice chain-like pivot here, which is pretty cool. If I head back over to my design, I'm gonna click on my connector, and click on my chain and duplicate this, lower it and rotate it. And by because both the chain and the connector are still selected, if I press duplicate, I get a repetition of that using the duplicate and repeat tool. So I now have several chains and several pivots. And if we head back over to our simulation, we can even adjust the materials for all these things. So let's make them steel, which should change the way that they pivot. And if we run the simulation and give the bottom one a little push, you'll see we get some motion. And if we push in the middle here, you'll see we have lots of motion. So a nice pivot. Thanks so much for watching. If you want to learn more about the other connectors, check out my other tutorial videos. And of course, please don't forget to subscribe.